Is the modification of the 3D printer is dead? I think we have to talk about it. This is Ender 3 v 2 and out of the box you can print PLA, PTG, but if you want to improve the print quality or you want to print with some other materials, in that case it requires some upgrades. And on this one I did at least 10 upgrades. On my workplace I, I have also this printer, it is modified to print some food. And for these printers this was normal and we can easily find different modifications for them. And this is Creality K1 Max. And out of the box it is ready to print with many filament types, including some technical carbon fiber filaments. And I have several friends who own this printer and all they claim they did some tuning in a softer side, in a slicer, but from the harder side it is good as it is now. So if you don't want to, you don't have to modify this printer, it can print many filament types. But let's go step by step, so first I will do some quick un unboxing and then uh, I will test it with different materials. Hello, welcome back. This is Creality K1 Max and this box is sent to me by the Creality 3D official in exchange for a review. I placed some links to their Amazon stores. This is fast correct swipe printer with bit volume of 300 mm in X, Y and Z direction. It has max speed of 600 mm per second and it has nice 4.3 inch touch screen. LiDAR sensor and the built-in camera and the max temperature of the nozzle is 300 degrees Celsius and the nozzle is from the hardened bimetal. This means we can print even some carbon fiber or glowing dark filaments uh, without any modification. And yes, according to my short investigation, this is one of those rare clarity printers which doesn't really require modification if you want to print even some technical filaments too. But we will get back to these questions after the testing in the conclusions part. The packaging is good in this black foam and this printer arrives completely assembled. Important instructions, probably you saw Uncle Jesse's accident. This is content of the package which was inside the printer. Some tools and spare parts, screen, legs, the whole spool of Hyper PLA, power cable instructions and this is the top cover from the glass. Maybe I can see a first possible modification because the spool holder is on the back side. But I can see I can pull out this Teflon tube and maybe place here the filament dryer and use it from there. And it will have even less bending in that case. I'm not sure does it count as a modification. And I want to install these legs before I remove this sticker so I prevent this door to open and break in 100 pieces. It is very important to remove those three securing bolts, they are marked with these yellow arrows. Hmm, I can see this has this curve and properly to touch this top cover. Yes, it touched it a little bit. I can see another possible mode which will be some kind of frame to raise this glass a little bit higher. I can see it right with this A plate and I can see a warning that I have to apply a glue before the printing which I don't really like. Now I'm not sure does it require this smooth surface or because the texture PIC is much better compared to this and we don't have to use the glue stick. And the printer was ready in just a few minutes and I can turn it on properly to do some automatic calibration and it's ready for printing. Selecting the language, warning for removing those three securing bolts, accepting some privacy policy, after this uh, selecting and connecting the network and it will start with the self-check which is automatic calibration. It will do some input shaping and uh, auto bed leveling and after this uh, it recommends to update the firmware and after the installation I have to repeat the calibration. Recalibration is finished and this was completely automatic process. It's ready for printing. With the printer I got this Hyper PLA in white color, but on this color it is hard to see the imperfections of the printing, so I will use the same PLA but in the red color. And this time the glue is included in the package, because with the K1 I didn't got this stick. The filament is loaded, but I'm always missing the tweezers from these packages. And as always the first printing will be Benchy, and this should be a 16 minute Benchy print. That's a good start, only these doors don't want to stay open. The noise from exactly half meter distance is around 70 decibels. And with the doors closed, the 57, 58, much quieter. But I have to open it, this is PLA.
printing at 64 percent looking good so far it's finished few seconds ago better occasion check but i know it is good even when it cools down yeah. mm, the bench is perfect from each side but i hate this glow on the bottom I'm preparing the slicer, this is Creality Print and I'm adding this device and its IP address so I can remote control it. This cube will be the first object and I'm uploading it over the network. And then I can supervise the device and uh, here I will later remove the foil from the camera. This was printed in 9 minutes. The quality is absolutely perfect from each side. This is a gear bearing. I like to use this test object because if it is printed correctly, immediately after I remove it from the wheel plate, I can rotate it. Well, in this case I had to use a minimal force, but after this it was perfect. And now switching to white color because I want to print something much bigger. From red to white the color is changed and this will be four and a half hours printing which use the whole surface area almost and those white spots are actually from the glue and this will be some kind of uh, poker equipment holder for my friend and this is a little bit confusing after one and a half hours it shows nine percent but actually it should be around 40. All right printing is finished. And this first layer looks perfect, only I can feel the glue on it. And now I switch to PETG and biggest risk with printing this material is that it will stick too good to smooth PI sheet. That's why I have to use the glue stick as a separation layer. From PLA to PETG, filament is changed. I want to be sure that I have enough separation layer. The start is good, I hope the adhesion will not be too strong. I have 70 degrees Celsius on the build surface. And this is what I can see over the user interface. And then I noticed that I forgot to remove the foil from the camera. And after this I got crystal clear image. These are sandbox toys for my daughter. The bed already cooled down, let's see how easy we'll be removing of the objects. Mm, perfect. Prusament ASA is the next material for the testing. And this printing will be inside the enclosure. And it's much quieter now. Tweezers, and I use here the generic ABS profile, only I raise the temperature to 260 degrees Celsius. The start looks good, but I think this is too fast and I wanted to slow it down over the screen, but I cannot do it because I don't have that possibility. But I can change it over the user interface and I reduce it to 60%. Probably it could go faster, but it needs more testing. Through this glass, uh, I can see what is happening inside, but with some additional light, it is much more easier. But using the internal camera, it is definitely very visible. Of course, this is in black color, it's a little bit hard to see. And for this short printing, the temperature inside was approximately 51 degrees Celsius. Now let's take a closer look of the object. Perfectly straight. Perfect. And now this printer has a tweezers too. And they can survive short touch with the nozzle. And now glass fiber ABS. And actually this is easier for printing compared to the regular ABS or ESA. Only it requires a harder nozzle. The filament is changed. And I also have a tweezers for this. Currently I don't really need an object from this material, so I'm just printing again that gear bearing because I'm using this very often as a gift fidget toy. Printing at 86%. And now let's see if it will spin. Perfect. Extremely nice side surface, the layer lines are not visible at all. And now let's try some uh, carbon fiber polycarbonate and this material is extremely strong if you need something to resist to the bending. Now using this filament is a little bit risky because the filament itself is extremely brittle. Watch this. 
and I'm not sure if the filament will survive this kind of bending. But let's try it. So far so good. I'll try to reprint this gear bearing using the same G-code, only I will raise the temperature to 265 manually. This is the most critical part, I mean, ah, it probably broke here, I think it broke. So during the bed leveling in this corner it bends extremely a lot and this is too much for this filament. Yes, I can see it on the light that it is broken. Maybe you can see it on the camera too. Okay, I have to stop the printing. Okay, now let's see what do we have here. Yes. This is extremely good and strong filament, but it's not for every printer, unfortunately. I have a separate video about this material. And that bending may result some problems with some old PLA filaments too. One of the possible solutions could be taking out this Teflon tube from this holder and in that case it may have a bigger curve, but in that case definitely we should raise this top cover a little bit higher. I'm curious if somebody has a better solution for this. Now let's get back to the question, if the modification of the CD printer is dead... Well, not really, you are not so perfect. Yes, you are one of the best reality printers, but I can see some possible improvements even on you. Ok, overall, so this is really great printer, ready for technical filaments, even with the carbon fibers, but for that we will need to find some better solution for this, because that bending is too big, and usually these uh, carbon fiber or glass fiber materials are very brittle, they will snap if you have so big bending. So I'm curious if you have some better solution, I'll show you mine, possible solution, I did something similar on K1, and I'm curious if there is some better solution for this. I hope you find this video useful, don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell button too. Thank you for watching and happy printing!